All right, so we are going to install the last of the three plugins, Shockwave, uh, the up-to-date uh, instructions for 2021 and hopefully beyond. So basically, this is the easiest installation. So I don't have the video because we're making it right now. But you basically just download the installer of the last version, Adobe Shockwave 12.3.4.205, and you just, you just download it. That's it. Okay, it's right here, nice and fast. And that's, that's it, you just install it. All right, so basically it's just a standard installation. We click next, install. All right, so now that that's finishing up, uh, Adobe Shockwave is now basically installed. And we finish it up. Now again, as with Flash, as with Java, you do need to download the 32-bit version of Pale Moon for Windows. And let's do that for the millionth time this week. All right, so it just extracts, uh, and then we'll be ready for standard installation. Uh, nothing crazy, just the usual stuff. Uh, we don't need to really do anything extra here, standard installation. And it'll be done very quickly, hopefully. All right, well, let's launch Pale Moon, and it should be ready. All right, let's visit the FAQ page. So we have a list of, a uh, very short list of uh, Shockwave games. All right, so we go down here. We scroll down to Shockwave. So right here, and let's play uh, Driver's Ed. doesn't really matter, just to show that it works. Look at that. It works. And you can see about Shockwave. Well, it actually opens another page. I thought it would be a little pop-up or something, but it's no longer supported. That's the page that you're going to get. That's fine. You can get that page if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can oftentimes mute it here, by the way, just in case. Um, a couple other interesting things. So number one, uh, the most interesting Flash or Shockwave games were those Nabisco Candy Stand golf games. Um, OneWeakness.com has it, so if you just click the link there, you'll find it. Uh, I remember playing these in middle school. You know, this was one of the uh, one of those one of those precursors to the Ancon Arcade. Is I got a piece of I got a pack of gum, and it it was advertising CandyStand.com, which had all these games in it. You know, including this golf game. And I gave it to, uh, you know, I, I, I told the guy next to me, and then within two minutes, everybody was playing it, right? So this is, uh, yeah, 20 years ago. Pretty cool. So anyways, that's that. You can play all these Shockwave games, and they're a lot of fun. Now, number two, uh, you might be, again, asking, okay, we're just downloading random files here from the Internet. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, as with the uh, Flash stuff, you can use, what do you call it? You can use Virus Total, Jotty Yotty, still don't know how to pronounce it, Kaspersky. You can upload it. You can use your own antivirus to see that there's nothing there. But let me just show you how I found this installer, okay? So let's go back to Chrome here. So I knew that on archive.org, somebody randomly uploaded uh, a bunch of Shockwave installers. And it's like, eh, okay, well, this isn't, um, this is not, what do you call it? Uh, it's not archive.org's Wayback Machine where they uh, archive web pages, which we've used before and we'll use for this as well. But it was basically, uh, it was just some random guy uploading it. Um, so I, 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 you know, I, I made sure that there's nothing in there, right? But it's like, okay, what he's telling you here is, okay, download all this stuff, but really the only thing that's going to work is the MSI files. Shockwave Player, uh, this by itself, the .exe, when you download it, it doesn't actually work. You have to only, you can only install the MSIs. Nothing else really works. So I was like, well, okay, let me let me get a direct download from Adobe or through Archive.org that they're archiving it. And here's what I found. So I, I found this page called TechieGeeksHome.info. Now that already sounds suspicious, but we don't have to download anything from them. All right. You can just go here to download, and you hover over bottom left, and you see adobe.com slash products 
slash, so, slash so, shockwave player slash distribution three. We click on it, it's gonna be end of life or 404. It's not gonna be found, right? This is what we just saw, right? Okay, that's fine. Well, we can use archive.org to find this page. Okay, so you just copy and paste this link here, just like that, right? And then this is what you get. So you get all of the previous Adobe Shockwave Player sites here. And uh, April 9th, 2019 was when they got rid of it. So we'll use this one, and I've already preloaded it here, right? And look at that, you get all of the latest downloads from there. And here is the MSI installer that will work. Because if you use the full e uh, XE uh, installer or the slim one, it needs to connect to the internet and download something from their servers. So if you copy this, right? If you, co well, it's already on ar uh, archive.org, so they're gonna do that. But notice what happens here. Uh, Adobe.com slash, right, you get to this and this will install it, right? You just hit this again, you, you hit go, and it'll automatically download it because it's a file. Come on now, let's automatically download this because it's a file. And look at that, it's going, right, this is the very file, okay? Now what's interesting about it is uh, if you also do this, right? You copy archive.org's uh, archive uh, URL, but not the archive.org URL, just the original URL. Notice what happens. You can actually download still directly from Macromedia, which uh, Adobe bought Macromedia. It used to be Macromedia Flash and Macromedia Shockwave. So basically, Macromedia still has the, the last version of Flash on their site. Look at what's happening. Look at that. Bottom left, it, uh, it, it, it uh, downloads it. So you don't you can, you, it's good to use archive.org to, uh, uh, to see what pages and what the links are. But if you know this link right here, macromedia.com, you can actually still directly download the, the last Shockwave player despite the fact that it's end of life and they don't support it, but they didn't remove the link. Uh, a lot of the links to Adobe Flash have been removed, but there you have it. So anyways, that's it for now, and uh, that's it.